future researchers. Good day and good morning to all of you. This is me again, Teacher Dean May, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in research. We are now on our week 5, module 5 in research 2, and for today's lesson vlog, we're going to discuss about research problem. Now, let us move on with the different criteria of a good research problem. So, we have 10 criteria in selecting a good research problem, and number 1 is, it should be interesting. Okay, interesting. This attracts the researcher's attention so that he considers his work as simple and relaxed. So, mas maganda diba kung gagawa tayo ng isang study na pag-aaralan natin at ini-investigate natin if we are interested on that subject. Pipili ka pa ba ng bagay na hindi mo gusto? Eh, diba, sobrang hirap na gawin ng research. If you are interested into something, you put your passion and deep commitment to investigate until your study is complete. Number two, it should be relevant to the government's trust. Good work has to transcend responding to the trust of policy. Number three, it should be relevant to the needs and problems of the people. Researcher must bear in mind that he performs work not for his own needs and problems, but to address other people's needs and problems. Number four, it should be innovative. While replicability of conducting research is acceptable, a successful research problem is new for attracting people's attention and can be patented. Number five, it should be cost-effective. Ibig sabihin, a good research problem must be economical and effective. Number six, it should be inventive. New and unique is a good research problem in that research results relate to the country's socioeconomic needs. Seven, there should be a return of investment. When carrying out the study, the investment harvest theory is applied. That is, if a researcher invests money on research, he always harvests or collects money so that there is no budgetary exhaustion. Number eight, it should be original, it should also be measurable, and of course, it should be time-bound. When we say time-bound, it means a good research problem can be finished within the allotted time period. Okay, pag-usapan naman natin what are the different guidelines in selecting a research problem. Selecting a research problem is never easy. Any research is a tough thing to achieve and it needs a great deal of commitment from work. The first step towards success is the selection of research topic. The subject of study needs to be very straightforward and easy to understand. It should not make people distracted. The current importance of a researcher should also be considered when selecting a research subject. The subject should not be obsolete, and it should be of great importance to the present day. There are a set of guidelines in selecting a research problem. However, when it comes to characteristics, a research problem should be smart. Number one is interest. This is the most crucial benchmark of selecting a good research problem. If you choose a topic or a subject that is not of great interest to you, the whole writing is boring. Tandaan that the entire study process is time-consuming. Mahabang panahon ang igugugul mo sa pagsusulat, pag-investigate, at pag-aaral ng isang research study. So, kailangan pagpipili ka ng research problem, lagi na interesado ka at gusto mong gawin ang bagay na ito. Number two is expertise. Before choosing a research issue or a research problem, you must ensure that you have reached a certain degree of competence in the field that you are proposing. So, mas maganda pa rin na piliin natin yung research problem na alam mo na at kung saan ka magaling. Tandaan na much of the work or much of the job that you are doing, ikaw ang gagawa yan. So, mas maganda kung uh, it is advantage to you kapag alam mo na yung tungkol sa bagay na yun. Para lang din yan pag pumipili tayo ng course sa college. Di ba pinipili natin yung course na kung saan tayo magaling? 
Number three, data availability. If your research title involves information gathering such as newspaper records or proceedings before the title is finalized, you must ensure that these documents are available in the correct format. Number four is relevance. Choose a topic that suits your interests and profession at all times. Make sure your research adds to the current information collection. This will, of course, allow you to retain interest during the research process. And number five, ethics. You should also consider certain ethical concerns when formulating the research question. Now, let us proceed with the different characteristics of a good research problem. Take note that a good research problem, it should be SMART. Okay, what does it mean when you say SMART? SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. Okay, number one, it should be specific. When we say specific, the problem should be specifically stated. Ibig sabihin, direct to the point. Okay, for example, kapag gumawa ka ng research problem, which is ganito, uh, plants as an alternative source of ethanol. Okay, plants. Do you think it is specific? Hindi, syempre, di ba? Kaya nga sinabi natin, it should be specific. Dapat, sasabihin mo, what is that specific plant that can be a source of making an ethanol? For example, instead of saying plants as an alternative source of ethanol, we can rather say aratilis extra as a source of ethanol. Number two, it should be measurable. So it is easy to measure by using research instruments, laboratory apparatus, and different equipments in gathering data. Number three, it should be achievable. The data are achievable by using correct statistical tools to arrive with exact results. Number four, it should be realistic. The data is attainable and they are attained because they are gathered scientifically and not maneuvered. And last, it should be time-bound. We know that time frame is very important in every activity because we know that the shorter, the better. This is the end of our discussion about research problem. I hope you learned something from me. Again, this is Teacher Dean May. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in research. See you on our next vlog. Bye!